Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to crack open Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game. It's designed by John Lundgren, Lundgren and Sean Cahill. It is from Fallen Dominion uh, Studios. It is a two to five player game with, it says one hour per player, um, with the base game. And in another video, We'll take a look at Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game, Journey into Darkness expansion, which adds a solo player ability to the game. So stay tuned for that. But right now, let's go ahead and take a look at what you get inside here. It is a heavy, heavy game. It is a tiny, tiny box. I mean, relatively. But boy, is it heavy. It's a bunch of cards and cardboard and dice and a whole bunch of good stuff so what would happen after a nuclear and biological apocalypse fallen land is set in the ruinous aftermath of post-apocalyptic america i'm going to tongue tie on this one big time post-apocalyptic america and it's a thematic board game for two to five players combines the elements of strategy with card building and role playing Ooh, excited to go all mad max on this one this is a self-published title. Uh, I believe it is available through Amazon. So, let's pull the lid off. Don't have to worry about the bottom staying on the table because it's heavy. It's very dense, like a brick. All right. First thing we have, turn the box. Everything's set up here. Nice and neat. All right. So we have... Fallen Land post-apocalyptic board game rule book. Okay. It is full color. It is medium-sized print. It comes in at about... This is 42, but I'm betting 44 pages total. Count the covers. Yeah, because I go with one there, so 44. We have a table of contents, which is always good. Some backstory. The Great War takes place in the not-so-distant future. The U.S. home front is but a distant shadow of the once prosperous and affluent America. Years of stifling economic decay and devolved civil liberties compound the general unrest of the populace, while abroad the relentless war on terror erodes the global primacy held by the United States since the end of the Cold War. And then a bunch of other cool stuff. And then hilarity ensues. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we start off with our uh, inventory. In fact, they say taking inventory. You got all your all your markers, your card types, your NPC chips, your dice, D10s and D6s. Got party markers that are uh, like little miniatures, I believe. And then rules. You know, rule, 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 rule. So. Uh, The artwork is consistent. I'm not sure who the artist was. I'm sure it's in the book somewhere, but uh, interesting, interesting, uh, interesting art. All right. So you get a 44 page roll, but it's glossy paper. Now this is interesting. This is the first player sheet. And whoever is the first player takes the sheet and by design i believe you're supposed to remove it from the book but i believe they have a download so you don't have to destroy your book because that's never going to come out cleanly so get your order of play so and so forth so and i love having a quick reference chart on the back of the rule book but put it to good use oh in fact look at what we've got here I'm going to skip these for just a second. They have now provided... I had downloaded a PDF of the rules. And that's where I saw you took it out. Now they have provided a very nice uh, linen finish cardstock. Thick. First player sheet. So there you go. Never mind everything I just said. So you got that. Now you got your, your uh, faction boards here. There are ten of them. I believe. Let's see. I thought there were ten. Starting at nine here. Five, four, three, two, 
One and ten. So good. We do have ten faction wards. They are also on a nice, very nice linen finish cardstock. We have the uh, backstory of the uh, faction. And then the play, basically the player boards. Now we got some cardboard. Some sheets of counters here. They are, again, have a nice linen finish on them. Well, this is a quality production for self, and at least this sheet is very well registered. I mean, they are pretty, pretty much dead center. Except these, obviously, where they're, you know, cut out of a picture, but for the actual text ones, they did a good job. Good production values. They are very thick, very sturdy. All right, so you get this one set here, and then get some tokens. They're probably faction-related markers. Very nice. But wait, there's more. This looks like ammo, health, IQ, intelligence, something. Obviously radiation. Very cool. Ooh. The radiation symbols actually go radioactive too. So, on the other side. Ta da! Punch very cleanly. Very nice. No little stragglers in the few that I've punched here. Uh, so we got some fuel, food, looks like more ammo, some more faction stuff. And then another sheet. Of these markers, mission markers, points of interest markers. Very cool. So there are six punch board sheets, unless there's more below. Bag o bags, lots and lots of bags for storing your components. And we have the game board. Set the side, we'll open that in a little bit. And here's where the heavy stuff is. All these cards. This reminds me of Fortune and Glory. And all the cards and different card deck types they have. So you get four six-sided dice. Pretty typical six-sided. So they are... Um, they, are they have rounded edges. Rounded corners. So they're all nice. Okay. Four of those. And then we've got some D10s. There's six of those in different colors. Pretty straightforward, standard D10s. Even on one, not on the other. And they, of course, work as well. The battery's not included or required. All right, so now we got the faction markers. And they are not 3D printed, they are little minis though, you can paint them up very nicely. They're kind of a thin plastic, which with the weight of the box, I thought they were going to be a little more dense, but they're, they're feel, they feel sturdy. So definitely going to want to paint these probably, but they are distinct enough that you won't need to paint them if you don't want to paint them. But even just a nice wash, base color and a nice wash will get those. Uh, there's 10, obviously one for each of the factions. All right, so let us get into some cards. They do not have the band on them for unwrapping, so to cut into it a little bit here. So we have and the cards themselves are standard, they're kind of a glossy, no linen, which again I like because. Doing linen cards against each other is very hard to use. Maybe a little thinner, given the quality of the other stuff. Um, if you sleeve, you might want to sleeve them. If you don't, I wouldn't worry about it. So we have actions here. In fact, this whole deck is actions. 
Chemical Solution. Play any time on a party. Each of those characters heal three points of any form of damage. Act of God. This card trumps all others. It cannot be prevented. Play any time to cancel, negate an action card, or to destroy any spoils card. Or play while the party is attempting an encounter or mission card. They succeed or fail your choice. Interesting. Heist. Steal all of the opponent's salvage coins. Bridge out. Bureaucracy. Leadfoot. Logistics. Disturbing numbers. There may be duplicates in here. But goodness gracious. Um, I haven't hit any yet. Infestation. Intelligence number. A lot of love went into this. This game of hate and the apocalypse. I'm just kidding. Motel Hell. Takes all kind of critters to make Farmer Vincent Fritters. I believe that was the line. Uh oh. Much better offer. Against the odds, open solidarity incursion. So lots of lots of stuff in there. And like I said, they all look original. Ah, New World Man. He's a rebel and a runner. Cool. All right. Don't want to go through them all, spoil anything for anybody. Alright, so that's the action deck. Slide those back into their cardboard slot. We have to work. Alright, now we got a mission deck. Obviously gonna contain cards for your mission. Again. Keep it burning bright. Okay, so now we got a mountain. Mountain mixed in here. Made a mountain out of a mission. So they're they're kind of blended in here in planes, so different location types. And maybe they're missions for different location types. But these are your very, very dense text, a lot of information, so a lot of variability it looks like in the game you're playing. Gargantuan Albino Moose. Irradiated Storms, The Boot, The Wild Wild West. Wild West! In the mountains. Mission cards have the black border here. Okay, so you're gonna get six decks here. Um, We've got some here that say spoils. Let me see some characters. I'm not going to go through them all. Some uh, assistance cards, uh, you know, rules reference cards here. Looks like some movie events. A lot of cards. More spoils. Sure. Zoom spoils of war items you're going to collect during the game. It's more event cards. Planes. Saw a few of those in the other deck, so. I gotta go through all of them to get an idea of what you get, but you get six really, really thick decks of cards. So I'm gonna open up the game board. Okay, so we got the game board open here. One thing that's nice about it is it's relatively small, um, which is good because it can sit in the board and you get all your cards around it. There's usually a lot of um, a lot of overproduction that goes into these sometimes where they make a huge board and that takes up the table and you got all these cards they take up the table and player boards take up the table and it just gets to be a big mess so kudos to them for making this a more of a manageable size hex board um, you'll have your faction tokens moving around and doing different things and they fit the hexes here are probably about three quarters of an inch maybe um, so it's a good size I like it I like the artwork on it you have a map key here that tells you different feature locations here. You have the 10 faction, uh, I guess they're home cities. That key listed here, like this one here, is the Brotherhood. Uh, this one here is the High Women, so on and so forth. So, um, let's see, red is a radiation hex, so California got irradiated a lot so in the lakes you know, in the major cities um, but again very nice job uh very very sturdy quality okay so got the board put back up as you see here it's a it's a decent sized folded up it's only six panels so it works out really nice um so you get 
If you get Fallen Lands, the base game, you're going to get six very large decks of cards for various functions in the game. You're going to get four six-sided dice. You're going to get six ten-sided dice. You're going to get a bag of bags. You get the ten pawns. You get the very nice game board. You get six sheets of punch board, punch bird, punch board uh, tokens, counters. You're going to get ten very nice uh, linen cards, linen finished cardstock uh, faction mats for use in the game. A very nicely included first player sheet in cardstock, linen finish. And a large 44 page full color rule book that explains everything definitely a lot better than I did with examples, so on and so forth. So that is what you're going to get inside this copy of Fallen Land, a post apocalyptic board game. <coughs> that was the box, that wasn't me. From Fallen Dominion Studios, came by John Lundgren and Sean Cahill. Pick it up. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh.